is to increase the beta carotene content in maize for which there are two possibilities either by modifying or altering the LCYE gene or the LCYB gene in certain populations the LCYE gene is naturally weakly expressed and LCYE gene is responsible for 60% of variation in the carotenoid content so here we choose the LCYE gene now this altered gene is introduced into the breeding program to selectively manipulate the carotenoid content in maize in order to be clear with why we design a primer for the LCYE gene, let us first go through the carotenoid biosynthesis. In higher plants, all steps of carotenoid biosynthesis occur in plastids by enzymes that are coded by the nuclear genes and imported into the organelle post-translationally. In this pathway, the key regulatory step is mediated by the phytoin synthase and involves the condensation of two geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate to form a colorless compound called phytoene. The phytoene is converted to all trans lycopene. The lycopene is cyclized by the epsilon or beta cyclase to give a yellow orange pigment called the beta carotene and the alpha carotene. The gene responsible for the formation of beta carotene is the LCYB gene and the gene responsible for the alpha carotene is the LCYE gene. Now the beta carotene is further synthesized to form abscisic acid and alpha carotene to form lutein. In this assignment our major aim is to increase the beta carotene content. So if we alter the LCYE gene the flow of the pathway is maintained to form beta carotene. Now we can also design a primer on the hydrolyzed B gene so that beta carotene is not converted to abscisic acid and thus increase the beta carotene content in maize. Next we need to know the structure of the LCYE gene. It consists of 10 exons spanning up to 3640 base pairs. The putative transcript sites are depicted with yellow arrow and the translated exons as black squares. Now here in this diagram I have shown the three primers that have been designed so as to increase the amplification and thereby increase the beta carotene content. The three primers designed here are the SNP216 primer, the 8 best pair indel primer and the TE. 287 primer. Before going into primer designing, we need to know what is a primer and its role in polymerase chain reaction. Polymerase chain reaction can selectively amplify a specific DNA present in a complex mixture of other DNA molecules. Here in this example, we are considering the LCYE gene as mentioned earlier. We need to select a target sequence. Here it is depicted in green color. In the first cycle of PCR, initially the temperature is raised to 95 degrees Celsius so that the two strands separate. On separation of the two strands, the temperature is reduced to 60 degrees Celsius where a primer that is a short oligonucleotide sequence attaches at the 3' dash end of the target sequence and this is highly specific to the 3' dash end of the target sequence. The primers then direct a DNA polymerase called TAC polymerase to synthesize the complementary DNA strand by adding free nucleotide in the entire mixture of genomic DNA molecule. Only the DNA containing the target sequence are copied as the tag polymerase can copy a molecule that has a primer attached. Thus the two strands are synthesized completely. At the end of cycle 1, the two strands are completely copied to partially form a double stranded DNA molecule. In the next cycle, the same procedure is being repeated. PCR cycles are continued to around 30 cycles. 
so that we finally isolate the pure DNA. The number of target sequences continue to grow exponentially at the end of each cycle. Tag polymerase has a special property that it is thermostable and can withstand high temperature without denaturing. General conditions before primer designing The length varying between 18 to 27 base pairs, GC content between 50 to 60 percent and the melting temperature between 50 to 60 degrees Celsius and the temperature difference between the forward and the reverse primer not more than 2 degrees Celsius and the primer is of high quality if the primer end in an A or a T. The conditions to be avoided are the hairpin, the dimers and the self dimers. The software used for designing primers are Primer 3, Select Primer, Oligo 7 and Pearl Primer. Coming to primer designing, first we need to retrieve a sequence for which the NCBI page is open and the LCYE gene is typed into the search text box of NCBI page. Then the nucleotide option is selected. From the search result page, we choose the sequence of Zia maze as that is the gene of interest here. A page displaying the accession number, locus, the gene of interest, the source of organism, title, author, etc. is being displayed and as we scroll down, we can see the sequence that is available in the gene pet format. Another format called FASTA format is also available for the same sequence. We choose the FASTA format as that is the format in which the Primer 3 software reads the input. So we open it and select the sequence. Then it is copied and pasted into the text box of Primer 3 designing software. Then the criteria that we had mentioned earlier are to be set. That is the length, temperature and GC content. The length varying between 18 to 27 and the temperature is to be set between minimum of 52 and maximum of 58 with optimum being 55 degrees Celsius. Then the GC content is set with the minimum being 45 and maximum being 60%. Then the option called pick primers is clicked. The output page is displayed and the primer that is being picked by this software is displayed here. All the conditions are met properly. In the sequence that is given here, the position of the forward and the reverse primer are shown. This being the start of the forward primer, extend up to here. and this the reverse primer. As we scroll down, we can see four other primers that have been designed. According to the study, we can decide which primer should be used and which gives the higher carotenoid content. In this case, we have designed primer for the 5-indil and the 3-indil and the SNP216 region. The 3-indil has an 8 base pairs alternant and the 5 dash with a T and an E. These primers are used to increase the amplification of the LCYE gene and screen out the lines containing this LCYE gene and use them in the breeding population. This screening will be an effective tool in choosing out suitable lines for biofortification of maize in breads for the beta carotene. The biofortified maize line with increased beta carotene is certainly going to be a boon among the maize feeding populations of the world.